Hey everybody, today's video is on concentration and molarity. So if you haven't already, I need you to pause the video and go print this or hand copy this so that you can follow along with me today. You're going to do what I do and then there'll be a follow-up assignment to this, okay? So we're gonna start with a definition of concentration. So uh, let me use this model here. So we've got a solvent, which is a liquid. So pretend this is like a beaker or a cup full of water. And we also have a solute. Right now there is no solute in this water, but if I add some solute, say like salt or sugar, now all of a sudden we could say that that's concentrated, it has a concentration. And if I add more solute, it becomes more concentrated and I could keep adding more and more solute until as we studied before, eventually the solute would just fall to the bottom and it would not dissolve. So we're being qualitative about that. We could say that this is more concentrated or less concentrated, but we want to be quantitative about it where we can actually measure the numbers. So back to our worksheet here, a definition of concentration. So as I was saying, that's a ratio of solute to solution, which would be the solvent in the solution. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using a ratio of moles. So our solute is gonna be measured in moles. And our solvent is gonna be measured in liters. And so when we say a ratio, it's gonna look like this, moles over liters. And so how do we symbolize that? It's actually with a capital M. So a capital M means molarity, which is concentration. And so we can write capital M or we can say moles per liter as units on a number, okay? So we're gonna start working some of these out and I'm gonna demonstrate for you how concentration works. So we're gonna start with the first question, a mole of salt, NaCl is added to enough water to make one liter of solution. What's the concentration of that solution? So I've got some sodium chloride here, but it says one mole to make one liter. Well, how much is a mole of salt? So remember, when we wanna know how to measure something that's in moles using a scale, we can't use moles, but we can use the periodic table. So we know that sodium rounds to 23 grams per mole and chlorine uh, rounds to 35.45 grams per mole. So we can figure that out real quick. So one mole of Na is 23.0 grams and one mole of Cl is 35.45 grams. So if we wanna add that up, one mole of NaCl is equal to uh, 58.45 grams. So that's how much I'm gonna measure when it says one mole of NaCl. So I've got that measured out already. So let me put a cup on the scale and zero that out. Okay, and I've got 58.45 grams of salt already almost measured. Add a little pinch. Come on. All right, there we go. So we have one mole of salt now. And in this flask here, it's a one liter flask, a thousand milliliters, but it's not full all the way to the thousand yet because I really don't know how much water I'm supposed to use. I know I'm supposed to make one liter of solution, but salt takes up space too. So I fill it up most of the way and then I put my one mole of salt in. You didn't see it spill on the counter. And now I can add water up to my one liter mark. I really don't know how much water I used. I know that my total solution is now one liter though. So I'm just gonna stir it up so it's not so cloudy. But that's a one liter solution with one mole of salt. Okay, here's what I was looking for. So what I would do is I would label that now. So you always wanna label solutions in the lab. So I have a one molar NaCl solution. Okay, the ratio is one mole of solute to one liter of solution. Okay, now, on paper, it's really simple. I have, I'm gonna use 
these, um, this ratio. So I have 1.00 moles of NaCl over one liter of solution. So one divided by one is one equals 1.00. Now I can write this two ways. I could say moles per liter, or I could say 1.00 big M. Those say the same thing. Okay, now the second one is in grams, right? First one was in moles. It's the exact same question. I'm still using a liter. I'm making a one liter solution, and I'm, but I'm given information in grams. So it's gonna be the same answer, but I put this here because I want you to know how to convert this in case you come across it. 58.45 grams of NaCl. So this is just a classic conversion where we need a, a conversion factor and we know already one mole of NaCl. We figured that out up here is 58.45 grams, 58.45 grams. So 58.45 divided by 58.45 is one mole of NaCl, 1.00 mole of NaCl. And remember, we're sticking with this ratio, moles over liters. There's my moles, I just converted grams to moles, and I'm gonna put that over my liters, 1.00 liters. So what, again, one divided by one is one, so it's 1.00, and I can write big M, or I can write 1.00 moles per liter. <clears throat> okay, so sometimes you'll be, when you're asked to determine the concentration of a solution, sometimes you'll be given moles and sometimes you'll be given grams. If you're given grams, you just have to convert it first. Now let's look at a different problem. It's still salt. This whole paper uses salt, but a different amount. So it says <clears throat> we're going to pour half of that solution out. And then what's the concentration? Okay, so here's my one molar salt solution, and I'm gonna pour half of that out into this beaker. So I'm gonna pour it up to the 500 milliliter mark. Okay, what's the concentration of that now? Well, it, actually it hasn't changed. So let's think about why, it's still one molar. So if I have half the solution, that means I have half of the solute and I also have half of the solvent. Well, what's half of the solute? It's one mole in there, right? So that means I have half a mole now, so that's 0 0.5 moles. Half of the solvent, well, that was one liter, now I have half a liter, 0 0.5 liters. So if I put moles over liters, what is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5? That's 1, 1 1.00 big M. Again, so it, it doesn't change. Look, I can even take like a single drop of that solution or two drops, and that's still one molar because the ratio of solute and solvent is the same. That is a drop of one molar salt water right there. Okay, let's move on. So next question, we're still dealing with salt and water. So I've got an amount that's less than one liter, it's 250 milliliters, and I've also got grams again, and uh, only 20. So remember, we're trying to have moles over liters, and if they give us milliliters, that's not liters, so we need to convert that. So let's do that first. So 250 ml, remember that one liter is equal to 1,000 ml. So 250 divided by 1,000 is 0.250 liters, okay? So I know that the bottom is gonna be 0.250. Okay, so let me actually demonstrate this for you. So let me zero out this dish. Okay, and I've got 20 grams, a little bit more. Okay, so I've got 20 grams, and I'm going to put that into a beaker. So it's got a little bit of water in there right now. There's my bottle. I guess I don't want to go all the way to 250 yet. I'll go to about 200. And now I'll put my 20 grams of salt. And now I'll finish going up to the 250 mark. Okay, so they're asking, what is the concentration of that solution right there? 
So let's finish working that out. So I know I have 0.250 liters in that beaker, but how much salt is in there in moles? So I've got 20.0 grams of NaCl. So we're gonna convert that to moles. Well, one mole of NaCl, we already figured out is 58.45 grams. 58.45 grams. Okay, so let's calculate that. 20 divided by 58.45. So it's 0 0.342. 0 0.342 moles of NaCl. And I'm gonna put that over my solvent. So this is my solute. I'm gonna put that over my 0.250 liters. So there's my moles over liters. So 0.342 divided by 0.250. There we go, 1.37 if we round that, 1.37. Again, I can write that as big M, or I can write that 1.37 moles per liter. Okay, so if I was to label this beaker, that's what I'd put on there is 1.37 M, and then I'd put NACL on there. That is finding concentration. So if you're ever asked to find concentration, it's really simple. Just put moles on top of liters. All right, so here's some other versions of how you would use this. Sometimes you'll be asked to figure out how much solute is in a solution. So we're kind of working backwards. So we're, it's all salt water again. So we have 250 milliliters, which we already know is 0.250 liters. Um, and I've got two moles of NaCl. How many moles of salt are in here? Okay, so remember that big M is moles per liter. So there's two units there. What I want to do is I want to set this up to cancel as many units as I can. And right now I can't cancel any until I change this to liters, but we've already done that. So 0.250 L. See, I have L and L. I'm going to set this up to cancel. So I'll start with 0.250 liters. That's just a conversion factor. Am I going to put liters on bottom or on top? I'm going to put that on bottom, right? Um, my liters here, <coughs> because I have liters here. Remember, we always want to work diagonally this way so that we can cancel out those units. So that leaves me with my two moles. Remember, this is two moles per one liter. So 2.00 moles. Okay, so that's going to leave me with moles, and that's good. If you have this many, uh, this much solution, how many moles? So 0 0.250, 0 0.250 times 2. So I have half a mole of salt equals 0 0.5, and I can round that to three digits. Moles of NaCl. But it also asks how many grams of salt are in there. So I'm just going to convert this half a mole of salt into grams real quick. So conversion factor. Now I know that one mole of salt is 58.45 grams, but see mole is here on top. So I have to put one mole down here and I'll put my 58.45 grams up here of salt. So that's 0.5 times 58. 29.2 okay, grams, 29.2 grams of salt. So that's how many moles of salt are in this solution. Okay, it's just 250 milliliters with two molar concentration. I've got half a mole of salt and also 29.2 grams. Okay, so that's anytime you are asked how much solute, that's all you're going to have to do is just set it up for conversion and canceling. Sometimes you'll need solute, but you do, all you have is solution. So it's like, pretend that my bottle of salt is empty. I don't have any more, but I do have this stuff. So I could still use that. There's still salt in there. I can still use it. I just need to figure out how much of that solution to use. So here's an example. It says we need 0.250 moles of salt for some experiment, but all I have is two molar solution, right? So what do I do? I don't have any powder. How much of that solution should I use? Again, it's setting it up to cancel units. So I've got moles 
and I've got big M, which is moles and liters. It's real simple. I'm going to set this up to cancel moles, and I'm going to end up with liters. Okay, so I have 0.250 moles. Set it up for canceling. I have, I want moles on bottom for canceling, and I have two of them, two moles per one liter. Okay, so I cancel those out. Right, that came from here, two moles for every one liter. So it's 0.250 divided by two, 0.250 divided by two is 0.125. So that's 0.125 liters. So I don't have any powder, but all I have to do is use 0.125 liters of that solution, and I'll have the same amount of salt. Uh, if I wanted that in milliliters, I can, right, I can do this. I can convert that to milliliters. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. So that would be moving the decimal three times to the right. That's 125 milliliters. So all I'd have to do is measure out 125 milliliters of that salt water, and I'd have enough salt for my experiment. So here's another one. I need 10 grams of salt, but all I have is some 1.50 molar solution. So how much should I use? Okay, well this is grams and this is moles and liters. So I don't have any units that match. So I'm gonna change the grams to moles to match those moles. So 10.0 grams of NaCl. All right, we already know that one mole of NaCl is 58.45 grams. Okay, see so I set that up to cancel. Grams on top, grams on bottom. So 10 divided by 58.45, so that's 0 0.171 moles, 0 0.171 moles of NaCl. So that's how much I need in my experiment, but I don't have any. I just have this solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this answer and I'm going to use these units to cancel. So moles will go on bottom, so that's 1.50 moles, 1.50 moles per one liter. Okay, so 0 0.171 divided by 1.50. 0 0.171 divided by 1.50. So that's 0 0.114, 0 0.114 liters. 0 0.114 liters. Or if I converted that to milliliters, um, move the decimal to the right three times, and that would be 114 milliliters. Okay, those are all the types of questions that you have to do with concentration.